what happened. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about Mac. Why are you here by yourself? Where's your mom? She's in the chapel with Anna. Um, Robert's here too, but he's taking a walk. I know you're exhausted. Sit down. Have you heard anything? No. We're just waiting and hoping. Yeah, I know how that goes. Dante's here. He's downstairs in the ER, but he's okay. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Have you heard anything? No, not yet, but that's a hopeful sign. I mean, if it were bad news, we would have heard. Okay, that's kind of a backward system. You should get regular updates if there's good news. I'll bring it up at the next staff meeting. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna go. Call me if you need me. Okay. I didn't get a chance to thank you for helping no, Mac when it, he was brought in. No, I'm I'm glad that you're here. Yeah, me too. Are you holding up? Well, I keep thanking God that Louise is safe with Brooklyn and Chase. I've constantly been living in fear that Peter was gonna evade law enforcement again. Yeah. And here we are. It's why I have to keep lying until Peter is caught again or hopefully dead. Yeah, I still flinch a little inwardly when I hear you talk like that, but I'm beginning <laughs> to understand. I can't help but think if Mac doesn't make it through surgery. The last thing I will have done is him. I don't know if I can live with that. He shot Kendall. He hit me in the shoulder and I, I had to swerve off the road. I played dead while he dragged me and Kendall out of the car. He left us on the side of the road and took off. That's right, he really must have been in a hurry if he didn't stop to check your pulse. Like I said, he was desperate to get to the kid. He's probably figuring that I'd have no more use for him once he told me what I need to know about Drew. Right now, he's probably congratulating himself on outsmarting me and getting away. Well, he couldn't be more wrong.